G'day, I'm Michael Thompson. I'm a Big Fix Technical Advisor for Asia Pacific based out of Melbourne in Australia. Down the bottom left hand corner you'll find my QR code to get in contact with me via LinkedIn. Today I'm going to show you how you can use custom client settings to help improve and manage your environment. So here we've got a our Big Fix console. So what I want to do here is show some of the native agents only because I've got a quite a mix of different systems in here. So just to give you an example, you can use your custom client settings to do a range of things. So let's just say we wanted to find uh, or tag systems with a location. So here I can set location and give it a value of Melbourne and push it out to this particular device here. And if we have a look at our actions here, we'll see that we've got a job that's going out to set that now. What we can do then is if we want to go and push this out to a wider set of systems, we can actually grab this particular action string that is using to set that particular client setting and what we can do is scroll down to a custom site and in here we can create a task so I'll create a new task here and I'll call it there's client setting set location so what we can do now is paste in that command that we've just copied and we can also put in action parameter query and we can say oops, location And ask for the um, give some description as to what it is that we're after. So if you've got many devices in your environment that you wanted to set with a particular setting, you can use this setting like this, and then you can put in here. the parameter that you're prompting the user for. And then what we can do here is instead of having that time and date there, we can set now. So whenever this gets run, it'll get populated with the current date and time. And that's really all there is to it. So what we can do now is click OK. And here is our new created task. And then if we take action on it, as you can see, it will prompt us for the location details. So all of my stuff is in Melbourne. So I can then just click Melbourne or type in Melbourne, should I say, and click OK. And then I can dynamically target to all computers. Or I can type dynamically target. So what I will do is give it by age and type, and I'll go to all my native computers. So that will actually go out and set that particular setting for all of my computers to Melbourne. So where you actually do get the benefit of doing something like this, as far as your custom client content, is you can then, especially if you've got varying different values that are going to be populated with that, you then have the ability to put it up here in your location picture, uh, sorry, in your column picker. So here we've got location. So you can see at the moment it's not set for most of them, but the first box, excuse me, that I did is now set to Melbourne. And once you activate these custom properties that you've got there, 
you've then got the ability to be able to drill down through the computer's tree. So you can swap through that particular area inside your computer's tree. The other thing that we can do, if we want to put some more settings on here, let's just say you had um, cost code or department. You can set these particular settings for certain things like that. And there's, you know, there's no limit to how you can actually set up these particular client settings. That then gives you also the ability to, when it comes time to wanting to do a deployment of some sort, let's just say that you were going to patches for Windows site and you wanted to push out, let's pick one that's got lots of applicability to it. You wanted to push out this particular patch, for instance, but you only wanted to deploy it to a very specific subset of systems. So you could then use your setting that you've got there and go, right, I'm just going to go to my Melbourne endpoints or my Sydney endpoints or my HR systems. So by tagging your systems like that, it gives you a great deal of granularity as to how you actually can target your systems and manage them in an efficient way. In a subsequent video, I'll also show you how you can use these settings to auto populate into computer groups. So that's all there is for today's content. Here are some helpful resources for you. First of all, we have bigfix.com, which is your landing page for finding out further information on the product offerings. Uh, you can schedule a demo there. And there's also other great content. Next is support.bigfix.com, which provides you with product documentation, access to create support tickets, and details on events and webinars and other helpful links. And finally, we have forum.bigfix.com, where you can interact with other like-minded Big Fix enthusiasts and ask questions. And you can also engage with us via our social media channels on LinkedIn and Facebook. Thanks for watching. I hope the video was helpful and I wish you success on your continued Big Fix journey.